Silver Tree. My name is N.R. Silver Tree and I'm so happy and grateful to, I feel so happy and grateful to be here with you today. I am coming to the end of my wild boar season. I'm so grateful. This is, you know, my first time sharing the spiritual, um, as practice or knowings with you all that are following me um, and I, I truly truly really am just very grateful to have the space to practice this beautiful art this beautiful ancient way of sharing my intuition sharing my my wisdom with you tapping into you know the energy of the oracle of you know, the priestess, the, the one who knows, the wise woman. There's so many beautiful names. Um, so that by the time you are receiving this message, um, it will be the almost closure of the wild boar earth energy portal for me. This is part of my personal spiritual medicine. Um, the wild boar is my guide and... So I am personally going through a lot of shifts right now. I am preparing to leave the land, to venture on to new land, um, and I'm taking a huge risk. I'm taking tremendous risk, but life is risk. <laughs> life is uh, with no guarantees. Life is full of surprises. Life is full of challenges. Life is full of love. Life is full of lack thereof. It's just there's so much unfolding within myself and also around me. So at this time, um, at this moment, in this present moment, in this now here, I share with you this rune here. This is what I pulled after a short meditation. I wish it could have been longer, but you know, kind of, I, I've been struggling, um, a bit. I've been struggling a bit with my meditations for actually quite a while and I think it's due to my internal energies and the external energies and the ego um, but I pulled this one. This is my broken arrow. I believe I did this not too long ago and it'll be very interesting um, if I pulled this in the season of the wild boar. Um, if I have, I will put the link below um, and I recommend that you watch, um, you know, the video of the broken arrow and see if there's any synchronicities um, that are in alignment of this reading. So I, um, my guides and the energies around me, and I, I received the message of share what is closest to your heart. And... So I pulled, the first one I pulled was this, because I wanted to do two readings today. And um, this is the broken arrow, okay? You can see you have the line here, meaning, you know, this is the ground. This is where you stand, and you have an arrow going up, a broken arrow, going, or half of an arrow going up and half of an arrow going down. And you are here in the middle here, standing there saying what's going on, what's happening, or what's happened, I don't understand, you know, I consider the broken arrow, the energy that I've, I've always received with this is patience, not necessarily a block, but patience with the unfolding, allowing things to, when you're entering into the space of risk and taking risk where nothing's guaranteed, you know, you have, let's say, you know, limitations, you know, financial limitations, uh, social limitations, any kind of limitation that you've mentally and egoically have fabricated in your own existence because we're limitless. However, um, with that, this is asking us 
to be patient in the unfolding, be patient with the unknown. Sometimes we are so excited, like, ooh, I'm going to leave this job and I'm going to try a new one. And I'm, you know, you get so hyped up, you know, and, and sometimes I'm entering in the space where you don't need validation. Um, finally, that's one of the lessons of the land that I've learned. Um, you don't need validation in anything that you do, in anything that you think. Because everything is always reflecting to you. In my last um, video that I shared and I channeled with you guys, I feel in my heart that um, if you're open enough, you'll receive all the answers that you need because everything is communication with it, communicating with you. You know, everything in life, right? In my last two videos, um, I spoke on, you know, language, the power of language, the language of the body, and the language of nature. And these topics are very general because you can go on and on and on. You can write books on this. But with this one, with all of this communication, there's a time to be still in the midst of chaos. There's a time to, before you make the decision of going up or ascending, or before you make the decision of descending, of going down, Right, right, right before you make the decision of going forward or going backwards. Some people are being called to go home, to return to the homeland, you know, wherever that may be, returning to your parents, returning to your spouse, returning to an old part of yourself that you've forgotten. Some of us are being called to move forward, to ascend into our higher dimensional selves and, and to trying something new, to really move forward, push forward, use that five energy of 2021 and to try something new, you know, and it can be quite confusing and it can be scary. It can bring up all this emotion and this here, this energy here is telling us and showing us, hey, be at a standstill and observe, be the observer, use that that, um, you know, that red serpent energy, it comes to mind, that serpent energy, where before a snake makes its move, whether it's, it's, it's going after its prey or it's moving left or right, it's feeling, it's feeling its way, right? It tastes the air with its tongue it, 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 or it smells the air with its tongue. I can't remember what it actually does. I have to look that up, but, um, but it's, it's very patient and it'll wait and wait and wait and it'll move, you know, either very quickly or very slowly. So back to the wild boar energy, another thing that came up in the med in the meditation was respect those who dishonor you. And I thought, now that's a bit weird. You know, anyone that dishonors you, you want to avoid, right? You want to just, just you know, just put up that wall or put up that boundary and be like, nope, I'm not going there. However, when you are feeling or being in the space of, of and you're, cause this is a very vulnerable space as well, because no clear decision is being made and it looks like a block, you know, it's like you're being pulled, let, or, you know, up, you're being pulled down, you're being told to sit still. What do you do? Because you see these are like, an, this is like an open, open path. You see the opportunity here. You go here. You see the opportunity. You go there. You know, you see the opportunity if you stay to a certain extent. But something is, is calling us as a human collective to look at all, but you know, like to tap and tune into the, the potentiality of you. To be present. When I see the broken um, arrow, it, I feel like this is a call for me to be present in the here and now. Not all it's not sometimes it's not always where you want to be or where you've been that you need to focus on. It's where you're at at this moment. Being present in your on your path. And it's it's so it's not always I'm again I'm gonna repeat that. It's not always where you're going and it's not always where you've been. Right, um, in the spiritual tribes out here, there's a common saying, you know, manifest your dreams, have your dream board, have this, have that, manifest, 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 you know, um, and you have to be kind of careful with that because it'll, it can take you out of the present moment. It's almost like, you know, for example, I want to go to Japan, 
right? Um, I'm just, you know, using an example. I want to go to Japan. I want to man manifest that trip. I want to be among, you know, amongst the culture and all that. And so, but you're here, right? You're here in this location, but you got to get there. You want to be there. But something is saying, hey, uh, you know, um, I know this is where you want to be. This is where you've been. But where are you at right now? How, what are your feelings and what are your, what's your emotional, psychological state at this, at this point before you decide to go up or down or left or right? And you can look at it this way as well. You know, um, you know, left, right, taking the right path, taking the left path. Maybe just take your own path <laughs> here. This is you taking your own path. And I'm actually, you know, sometimes when I'm doing these readings, I feel like sometimes these readings are speaking to me, but, you know, my intention is for the human collective. But I am part of the human collective. And what I'm seeing here, because I'm going through a massive shift right now, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm moving. I'm going to move and I don't know where yet. And I've shared this with people, you know, a few people and they're like, oh, you should get into this or, oh, you should possibly do that. And I'm like, is that how I really feel about this? How do I really truly, where do I stand? You know, take the, the road less traveled. Take the road less traveled. Um, let's see, is there anything else I need to... Pull up or bring up in this space right now. Take precautions in the choices that you make. But don't hesitate to make the choice. Because this is also can be hesitation. Um, so take precaution. Be patient with the, your decisions. But don't hesitate to the point where it does become a block. And you just kind of you're stagnant. But really and truly, this is just being patient with yourself and really being like, okay, where, you know, tuning into that, that, that intuitive space. Sometimes with those of us that are super open to, you know, our intuition or our internal guidance or source and spirit, sometimes our spirit world is just like, like so incredibly active and moving and alive and you're just like your head is spinning. You're having dreams back to back to back to back. You have synchronicities. You have all these things. Maybe even a massive spiritual awakening. And then you'll enter into a cycle and season in your life where all is quiet. And that's the key moment where you have to pause. And really, really reflect. And simplify your, your spiritual practice and really tune in. Because usually it's always the times where we're it, we're going through a very tumultuous, very challenging time, where or dark night of the soul. Okay, where we're like, oh my gosh, I need to meditate. Let me meditate. Let me reach out to spiritual groups and communities. Let me bust out my crystals. Let me bust out my mantras. Like we get all hyper religious or hyper spiritual when things aren't necessarily going our way, and when things calm down and they stabilize, then we kind of just were like, eh, I'm just going to take a break on the spiritual stuff for right now. And that's something that you have to be very, 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 very careful and very heartful and mindful of because we all do it. I'm guilty of it, you know. Um, but being, showing up for yourself, not showing up for the people on the, on the left, not showing up for the people on the right, but showing up for you. Not being, you know, um, pulled way, way up and ungrounded and you have all these crazy, amazing, awesome ideas for business or for a trip or whatever. And not being so low and depressed that you feel you have no self-esteem, you have no value or self-worth and you feel so low. Be in the space of neutrality and balance. Be in the space of neutrality and balance have a sound mind, a sound heart, sound body, sound speech, sound love, sound spirit. And, and maintaining homeostasis in times of, of, of having to make um, big decisions can be, you know, I've talked about loneliness quite a bit. Um, 
And this actually isn't really about loneliness. This is energy that's moving and you're like, which way do I go? Like I, I, I'm seeing a person that's like, they're in the middle of a road and they see one car and one lane just zipping past. They see cars just going one lane very, very quickly. And like, what, what do I do? How do I, what, what, what? You know, if you can imagine a hitchhiker in the middle of the road, right? And they're just like, oh my gosh, like I just need a ride to get to this, to, to get to a destination. But everything's moving so fast around me. I don't, I can't catch my breath. What do I do? What do I do? And at that very moment, just know, <laughs> just be patient because the answer is always there. I believe intuitively, I believe spiritually, I believe that there is an answer to every single question. This can also, you're seeking an answer, right? And these are your questions, right? One, one question takes you over here, another question takes you over there, but there's a, a, um, an answer, a solution to the problem, right? I also see a person just standing in the middle and there's just these circles of cars going around them over and over and over and over and they don't know what to do and they feel stuck, but really sometimes there's a decision that you make where you don't, you know, they say, go left, go left, and they say, go right, go right. And then people often forget that they have a choice to not go in either of those directions. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's very, very interesting these times because I see this type of energy reflected everywhere. It's like, if you go this way, then you must believe in a certain, in this thing. If you go this way, you must believe in this creed, in this paradigm, in this program, in this conditioning. And if you stand in the middle and you're just mad and crazy and you can't make up your mind, which I don't think that's the case at all. So I do see sovereignty here. I see balance in here. Um, I do have a sense that there's energies pulling people in both directions. And that can be very, very, very uncomfortable and, and very trying when you are not centered within yourself. And even for myself personally, as in our silver tree, I, 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 I find that um, I listen to people. I well, here's another thing that I've also learned. I want to share with you, and it's, it's, it's part of my um, uh, deep reflection practice, where I will, at the beginning of the day, or sometime in the middle of the day, or later, whenever I feel it, and usually it's at the end of the week on the day of Saturn. Um, I will make a video to myself for myself and I don't keep the recordings. I don't, I'm very, very picky on how I journal my path, but this is what I would want to share with you all. I came to the realization this morning that not everything that you, you desire to manifest in your reality should be shared with everyone. That I think is, I, I want to make a video on the, the secret keys to manifestation because the law of manifestation is part is a part of a bit a bigger um, list of laws that um, have been tr you know trickled trickled out in the past 20 25 30 years um, I know Rhonda Burns came out with the book of law of attraction um, you know but the law of attraction or as known as law you know manifesting manifestation you make it, you make it known that you want to open a business. You make it known of the artwork you want to put out and the the albums you want to write, the book you want to write, the places you want to travel to, your dream mate of the the love of your life, the children you want to have, the career you want to have, your home that you want built. You put you make it everyone knows about it. And I really sincerely think that some things are just meant for you. It's not meant for the people to the left. It's not meant for the people, you know, to the right. It's not meant to the, for the people above you or below you. It's just meant for you. And you, that is the secret, I believe, the secret to manifesting and to discovering your your personal path. And, and so at this, at this point in my personal journey, you know, 
having to really steadfast because especially I'm a, according to the human design, I'm a projector. And so we have to, we're very magnetic. So we have to wait on, um, or be patient for a divine invitation. So being invited to do things, whether it's acts of service, whether it's traveling, whether it's a business venture, whether it's anything, um, you, we have to wait for the divine invitation. And I, some of this rings true to me. Um, it really does, but I think it's also very tricky. Don't, you have to avoid being a victim of circumstance, meaning you just, just because something is happening to you, you base all of, all of your life on that one experience and that one circumstance and you don't stand in your power. And this is asking you to, like regardless of the winds, because I'm entering into my, um, the, the medicine that I'm entering into next is the white wolf medicine. And that is, um, it's a masculine energy. So he is um, this beautiful white wolf and my guide and, and it, it pull, it's, it, the wind will pull you. The wind will pull you left, right, up, down. I mean, you know, and, oh, something just came to me. Um, be, be the storm. Be, um, when the storm comes to you, I don't know, there's a, there's a quote of some kind, but it's something, it's like, I see, like, all this wind moving around, but I also see the tornado, and the tornado, you need to be the tornado. Don't, 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 don't get, you know, you're like this person here and you're just like <sighs> caught up in it. No, you be the storm. Don't fear the storm. Be the storm. Be that tornado. Be that hurricane that's whipping through. Right? And I know the energy of the wind is, it's very powerful. All elements are very powerful. Um, but that's, that's what I'm getting is like, you, you be so grounded here that, even if you have a people's opinions or even facts, like it's a fact that this may not work out for you. Listen, you have to say, fuck it. Excuse my French, but you have to say, F it. I'm doing me. I'm staying centered and grounded in what I choose and how I choose to live in my existence. Now, you have to be very careful with this approach because sometimes, you know, people have wonderful good intentions. You know, they're not all about trying to block you or trying to keep you from doing what you want to do. Not everyone's like that. You don't have to go out in the world and say, everyone's against me, no one's for me. So I'm just going to do me and whatever they say, I'm just going to like, you know, piss on it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just be open, but know yourself. You know, I think five years ago... I really needed a, like a lot of validation in my decisions for myself when I chose to, or when the Southwest land chose me, to be quite honest. Um, the land of the Southwest, the land of the desert, it chose me. And I was scared. I called up this, you know, this energy reader, very talented woman, and she was like, don't doubt, just have faith.